Hi, this is Margaret from the Gail Borden Library and I'm just taking a walk outside today. Even in this era of social distancing, the experts say it's actually healthy and good for your mood to get outside and take a walk. So I'm taking a little walk outside today and one thing I really enjoy while I'm walking is to listen to some music. So today I thought I'd tell you a little bit about some of our free music apps that you can download and use at the library. Each one's a little different. Um, and you can download the apps to really easily use these with your library card for free. The first one I like to use is called Freegal. F-R-E-E-G-A-L. You can find all of the information on these on the Gail Borden Library website and they're in our 24-7 e-library. What I like about Freegal is that it is part of, it includes all of the Sony Library Music Catalog. So there's a lot of popular music on there. The nice thing about Freegal is you can download up to five songs a month for free. If you download them, you keep them all in your Freegal Library. You just have them all the time. So when I'm offline, I can listen to those five songs that I downloaded. You can also, on Freegal, stream music for up to three hours. So if you're in the kitchen cooking or making dinner, I like to stream some music and you can do that right through Freegal for no charge, just using your library card. The next app I've downloaded onto my phone that I like to listen to is called Hoopla. Hoopla is a really nice application because we use it a lot. We talk a lot about Hoopla for books. There's movies, audiobooks, but don't forget there's also quite a bit of music available on Hoopla as well. If you have kids, they have a whole section of Disney music. So if you want to listen to Frozen 2, you can listen to the entire Frozen 2 album. Just during this time while the library is closed, we've upped our limits. You can download 10 albums from Hoopla, 10 downloads completely per month. You can mix and match however you choose but I really enjoy listening to the music um, and downloading the entire album on, on Hoopla. Well, looks like it's time for me to keep walking and I think I'm gonna listen to some music. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of your library at home. I hope everyone is keeping safe and that you get outside and enjoy a little nature while social distancing. Enjoy the music. Thanks, bye-bye. Hey everybody, everybody, Librarian Ben here in the middle of a bike ride on a beautiful sunny afternoon. Just a reminder that if you are feeling a little cooped up, you can still get outside and get some exercise. It's a great way to drive away boredom and nerves and all that bad stuff. So get outside and if you go for a bike ride, wear your helmet. Hello, my name is Melissa Vernasek. I'm the Director of Information and Digital Services at Gail Borden Library. Thank you for joining us for your library at home. Today, I wanna to talk about one of my favorite topics, listening to books. If you've never listened to a book, you are missing the opportunity to be transported into the story in a different way. I especially love books that are read by the authors because I think it brings a whole different side of the author to the book and you really get a feel for how they want the story told. So we're going to look at ebooks on both Cloud Library and Hoopla. And then I'm also going to show you how to download music from Freegal. So if you're already an audio lover, maybe you've never known about Freegal before, but you can download music every week and it's yours to keep. Let's take a look.
I'm starting at the library's homepage, gailborden.info. Then I'm going to scroll down to the Quick Links section and click 24-7 eLibrary. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Listen section, specifically Cloud Library, Hoopla, and Freegal. When you click on any of these links, you get more information about the service. The Cloud Library page will give you links to downloading the app on your devices, or you can just go straight to Cloud Library on the web. All of these services will require you to log in with your Gale Borden Library card number and your PIN. We're looking specifically at audiobooks today, so we're going to do that through filters. I'm going to take a look at the Browse section. You can see this is divided up by fiction, nonfiction, and then age group. Let's take a look at the fiction section. I have several genres already highlighted, but we don't always know if these are reading or listening until we take a closer look. You'll see the little headphones here. That means it's an audiobook. If I want to only look at audiobooks, I click on filters, and then I can choose to view just ebooks, just audiobooks, or both. I'm going to look at audiobooks only, so I'll leave a checkbox there. Then I can change if I want to view all titles that are in the collection or only what's available now. I want to see things I can immediately check out, so I'm choosing available now. The suggestions for library, if you turn that on, that will allow you to see items that the library could purchase and you can make a suggestion. items that are immediately available for checkout. Cloud Library Collection has items that can only be checked out by one person at a time. There may be multiple copies though. Let's scroll down and take a look. I'm going to click on Tortuga. I get a little bit of information about the book who it's written by, a description, and then if there are any more books by the author, it will be listed at the bottom. One of the most important things about audiobooks is this shows the duration. Most people want to know how long the book is, and that gives you an idea. When I click Borrow, we'll have to download the book. It tells me it expires in 21 days, and I can click listen to immediately start listening. Your experience on an app might be slightly different, but all the buttons will have the same numbers. When I'm doing this on the web through a computer, you'll see that I easily can access different tracks. These are often chapters, and I have the option to play, stop, rewind, and move forward. Next, let's take a look at Hoopla. Here we are back at the Hoopla page from 24-7 eLibrary. Again, we can use Hoopla immediately online or there's instructions on setting up your account and information about the apps and limits and long periods. Right now, the limit has been expanded to 10 items per month. But you'll still only have a limited amount of time to use the items. Audiobooks are 21 days. I'm using Hoopla on the web today and I'm already logged in. Hoopla is a little bit different than the Cloud Library login because not only will you need your library card number and your PIN, you will also need to create a username and password. And from then on, you will sign in with just your username and password. You can see how many items you are currently borrowing and how many items you have left to borrow per month. 
I can see my browsing history at the bottom. Today we're going to go to the browse section and choose audiobooks. So your menu, recommended, featured, popular, and categories, it defaults to popular. And then we have a whole bunch of settings on the side that you can change. Let's say for example that I want to choose children's titles only. When I check this box, the holdings immediately change on my screen. There are almost 4,800 children's audiobook titles for me to look at. My toddler is a big fan of Pete the Cat, so that caught my eye right away. You'll see a lot of popular characters here. We can also take a closer look at format. In this case, only audiobooks because we already selected that up top. Release date. The date added to Hoopla. The rating system. And language. I really like the language filter because it immediately allows you to limit to exactly what you're looking for and we have the opportunity to choose the language that we prefer rather than having to sift through. Let's go back up and click on Pete the Cat. I see the title, when it was published, about how long it is. This one's 10 minutes. You can read the full description and it tells me I have 21 days once I borrow this. I'm going to go ahead and click borrow and confirm. It tells me I can enjoy this title through April 24. I'm going to hit play. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James. The book starts playing right away. You know sometimes kids are confused because they're used to reading a book and then they hear it audio so it's really nice to find titles that you can listen to through Hoopla, but then may also have the print book in front of you. Finally, let's take a look at Freegal. We're back here on the Freegal page, 24-7 eLibrary. There's information about the app, or you can use Freegal on your computer. I'm already logged into the service. I have five downloads remaining this week. That's music I get to download and keep. And right now, the services have been expanded to unlimited streaming. Previously, it was three hours per day. When you get to the home page, there's featured playlists, featured songs, featured albums, and featured music videos, audiobooks, artists. Let's go back up to the top. And we're going to take a look at a featured playlist. This is the work from home social distancing playlist. Seems pretty appropriate. If I click on it, I get to see how many songs and how long this will play for. When I click stream, it'll immediately start playing on my computer. I can also take a look at items I've recently played. So if you've got that song in your head and you just want to listen over and over, go back up here. I'm a Johnny Cash fan, so recently listened to Heart of Gold from the Johnny Cash Experience, the Hit and Hit the Road and Go album. I can click and it immediately starts playing. Let's go back to the browse section. And I'm going to scroll down to top audiobooks. Let's click view all. We can scroll through. You'll see that these are not all audiobooks. Some of them are a little bit more like albums. It will show you immediately if there's explicit lyrics. Let's click on Anne of Green Gables. This tells me that it's 38 songs, which is really more like 38 chapters, and it's eight hours and 27 minutes. It's a spoken word genre, so I know for sure this is a book, not an album or music inspired by a book. I can start listening right away by clicking on stream. Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Chapter one, 
Mrs. Rachel Lind is surprised. I have all my controls here at the bottom, and then I can even scroll through here to see the upcoming chapters. Or I can download, and then I would own the book. But I would have to download five chapters a time at a time. I hope you've enjoyed this roundup of e-audiobook and music options from the 24-7 e-library. Don't hesitate to contact the library if you have any questions. The contact page is here. You can get in touch with the library by text message, email, or by leaving a voicemail, which we will return your call. The text message number is here, 847 754 4599, or you can send an email to gbplweb at gailborden.info.